We're back, Sports Unplugged. Make sure you subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, Sports Unplugged. Also, follow me on Twitter at Leon Rogers. Follow at Sports Unplugged. And also follow my man, Big Med, at B I G M E D. All right? NBA. Listen, man. A certain ball player who wears the number six is really trying to assert himself and uh, that leave no doubt that he is the best player in the NBA and quite possibly might be the best ever all time when it's said and done, barring any injury. LeBron James. Yeah. For the last five games. Uh Uh-huh. Let's just read the points. Let's do that. 32. Uh Uh-huh. 30. Okay. 32. Yeah. 31. All right, then. 30. Hmm. For the last five games, he's averaged 31 points, Mm -hmm. seven rebounds, Uh six assists. Right. All while shooting 71% from the field and 60% from three point range. Okay, then. That is fucking insane. It is. We haven't seen that from the likes of even my man, MJ. The God. Right. Turning 50. Shout out to MJ. Mm-hmm. Turning 50. Getting married. Don't know what you're doing. But <laughs> I kind of look at it as like you getting married at 50 is like me having another baby at 40 years old. Now. Right. I don't, we both don't know what the each head. other are doing. Yeah. But at least, you know, I had a little fun doing mine. It's just, yeah. just going to stand up there and waste an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, man, like. What's the explanation for this phenomenon? Has has LeBron found the switch? Has LeBron become the killer? Has LeBron become the cyborg? Has he gotten that gotten that dog in him? That Jordan, that Kobe, that well, AI, that all the great greats have had. Is he is he a, a, an assassin now? Is I'm, he an assassin? I'm not gonna say he's an assassin now. I'm not, I'm not gonna say he's an assassin now. I just think he's the most efficient player, probably. We're but I mean, look, but look how he's doing it, but though, see, fam. The, but see, the thing is, as an assassin, that's domination. I, I, I still don't think like he has that 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 dog, that dog in him that that Kobe and Dwayne Wade even has. Even though Dwayne has a little bit more of a, a of a bitch ass dog. So let me so let me ask <laughs> you a question. A dog you don't think he has the dog in him? But I'm I'm looking not, at these not, numbers, not, no, no, man. No, 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 no. Like I said. He, he can, he's a you got to have somewhat of a dog mm, no. in you to score like that. No, not when you're better than everybody else. If you're better than everybody else, you're just better than everybody else. Kobe, Bryant, it, but, but Kobe Bryant got that dog. Kobe Bryant don't care who he's going through. Kobe Bryant is a killer. Right, but what I'm, what you, I'm you saying You can't is, say that LeBron is like that, but hold on. let me Not just, like that. I right. mean, to compare him to Kobe's, no. But what I'm saying to the point that when you know you he he's better than everybody else. Yes. And he knows this. Yes. That's not dog? No. It's efficient. He knows that at any point he can do whatever he wants to do to control the, the balance of the game. That's, that's a, that to me. That's dog. That's not dog. That's not dog. It's a zen dog, but it's he, dog. He, it's just so easy for him, man. man yeah, that's I what I'm saying. I like I, I, I make this look too easy, y'all. Look, and, man. In the look. back of your mind, you're not saying he's. You don't think LeBron's saying, "Dog, I make this shit look way too easy." And they ain't really like nobody can said, do. Like he said, I have spoiled y'all with my only. What, three bad games in my career? The thing was, when he said it about three years ago, I was like, the audacity of this dude to say that. Then I had to think about it. Yeah. He's only sucked three times in his I'm NBA like, career. I'm like, he probably is right, and he might be being nice. He might only been bad twice. twice. I was like, dang, because he hadn't really been bad since then, other than the uh, uh, NBA Finals. <laughs> Okay. Mm, mm, we'll give you that. But he made back up with that. Yeah. I mean, when he, he went cyborg mode. Hey, man, here's the thing. Bill Simmons said it that, you know, after winning the championship and after that series against Boston, because that Boston series, they were done. And I actually thought they were done against the Pacers, too, last year. Toast. Something happened. Chris Bosch came back for the, for the Pacers. That's the key. Chris, I mean, Chris Bosch came back for, 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 for Miami. And, That's how they got past the Pacers. Right. But then LeBron turned it on against against uh, the Celtics. Yeah, that was just that was crazy. So my thing is, what Bill Simmons says. The question is, does he settle or does he go into fu mode the rest of the way? Turn the switch on. Yeah. I think he's gone into. I think he just he just turned into like the fu mode. He's just the most efficient player we've ever seen. Period. Twenty seven seven and seven for his career. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. What and he's he doing still right now. has a good 
six to seven years I was, now. His name Chris Palmer, right? Uh-huh. ESPN Chris Palmer? Yeah. If you go to his Twitter page, I think it's at ESPN Chris Palmer or something like he's that. He's got, yeah. The stats that he's throwing up there are ridiculous. are ridiculous. Not just for LeBron, but for a lot of players. You know, he went up there, he's talking about AI, he's talking about Kyrie, talking about Derek, talking about LeBron. And the thing is, and, and we're going to talk about Derek and Kyrie yeah, please. A, little, a little bit. Because le- we're going to make a lot of y'all mad with this one. We can, we can, we can do that. Hold on. Let's, let's get into that. Chris Palmer, though, Chris Palmer was talking about how LeBron James probably should have won the MVP at 20 because he averaged 27, 7, and 7 at age 20. Yeah, at 20. You know what I'm saying? Three years into the league. Three years into the league, yeah. He Just like Derek. He should have, yeah. He should have probably won the MVP that year. I was like, I didn't even. Who won it that year? Oh, I don't even know. Three years into the league. Was that Kobe? Is that Kobe's only one? That's That's almost a joke to me. Sometimes, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know, like, but then you know, Jason Kidd not getting it uh, that one year when the Nets uh, turned around, became the number one team in, in in the East. Thought that was a joke. I thought Tim Duncan was just given a few. Steve, really? Yeah, I think Steve. Nat, I mean, I thought Jason Kidd should have got it over Tim Duncan that uh, one time. Um, I think uh, Steve Nash earned both of his. I take him off that team. They're terrible. Uh, no, I, I, in I, the West. Top C, and look, man, one I, or two. I just think Kobe should have gotten at least one more. You know, just one more. Jeez, man. I, I get that, too. But Give me give me one more for But Kobe. I'm just saying, Steve Nash accounted for damn near 40 points a night. No, I understand. Uh, but LeBron James is just the most efficient player I think we're ever going to see. And like Chris Palmer says, he believes that LeBron's going to end up with like six MVPs, <laughs> three Three uh three trophies and what else did he say? Like he was like three MV, uh, six MVPs, three championships, and uh, three or four championships and like something else. And if he does that, <laughs> what the hell can you say to the man? So that was oh four oh five. You can't say nothing if he if he does that. When LeBron came into the league, oh three. Yeah, oh two. Uh, oh, oh. So you say his second year in the league or his third year? Third. In the it was the third year in the league. Third year in the league, he averaged thirty one. Oh, then was it the second? It wasn't the second year. Second year in the league, he averaged 27, seven assists, seven rebounds. <laughs> <I didn't, it laughs> Jesus second. Christ. And started 80 games. I didn't know that. I thought it was the third year in the league. My bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Who I don't know. But, wow. But the Cavs, the Cavs weren't that great that year either. They just barely got into the playoffs that year, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So that's probably why he didn't win the MVP. But – Going back to uh, that Chris Palmer like thread, that tweet thread he had, he went in there, and this is where this is where it's going to get interesting. He had on there that uh, right now Kyrie Irving is greater than Derrick Rose. I agree. At this point in their career, yeah, yes, I agree. Um, I agree too. He was in. We both. We, hold on, Steve Nash. Hold on, Steve Nash won that year. No. But let's hold on before we go. You know, before we get people to hate us, let's just remind people how much we love Derrick Rose. All the time. It had nothing to do with Derrick Rose and telling them that Derrick Rose No, this Rose is what sucks. you tell them, dog. Take your heart out of it for the moment. Right. And just look at the numbers. Here's the thing. And Kyrie's second year in the league, mm-hmm. and then Derrick's second year in the league. We could pull them up and go side by side. Right. And at the end of the day, Kyrie has just been better. And they both were pretty much coming into the same situation where right. they had to be the man right for away. their teams. So here's the thing. Kyrie Irving, the reason why I say that is because I think Kyrie Irving is a, a better scorer than 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 uh than Derek is. He I don't I, think he attacks the basket better. No, 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 no. Jumper hey, shooter hey, from hey, different hey, spots. Hey, 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 let's remind people. There's not maybe LeBron is better than and maybe Russell Westbrook. Those those are the only two players you can give me that can attack the basket better than Derrick Rose. Mm. Who else? There's a young man in New York by the name Melo that gets to the bucket whenever he feels like it. Melo gear, you work. I, I listen. Look, best offensive skill set in the NBA. I can give you that. Carmelo, I, and he gets to the bucket. I, 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 can, I can. I can give you that. But explosion, athleticism. Ath- yeah, you said attack the basket. I understand. You don't have to be okay. athletic All to right. attack the basket. All right. All right. Because Paul Pierce ain't athletic. Oh, does, and man, please, back in the he day, he used to get cats work. Uh, I, I got this work, and you going to get it. Let's not talk about Paul Pierce. With his uh, bad body, Adrian I, can't, Daly, I, I don't. I don't like that. Rec League gym <laughs> shooting ass, but he used to light cats up. Don't give me that. <laughs> 
But uh, so okay, you can give you can put Melo out there, but there's not that many guys that can attack the basket better than no, Derrick Rose. No, but the thing is with Kyrie at that position, right? Let's say that. Okay, but with Kyrie, Kyrie can give it to you any kind of way, anywhere on the floor. That dude got range for days. Uh huh. Can like I haven't seen somebody shoot like this where he has a lot of moves and everything like that since Kobe and Melo. His his second year, second season in the NBA, Kyrie Ooh. Irving. Is averaging twenty four points, five assists, four rebounds mm-hmm. per game. Mm-hmm. Derrick Rose, second year stats, he averaged twenty points, six assists, four rebounds. So, Kyrie's four points better. Derrick's better in the assist column. They're about even in the rebound. Here, here's the thing: when when Derrick comes back, Derrick shot forty eight percent from the field, and Kyrie shot fifty percent. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. The question, when I watch Derek play, guys know how to defend him. He's developed a jumper a little bit. He's the, got the floater. The, the, he gets the, into the yeah, lane, the floater. floater. But here's the thing. If the game is on the line, I'm going to put it to you like this. If the game is on the line, right, and I need somebody to get me a basket, I'm, I'm going go with Kyrie. Kyrie. Yeah, because he can give it to you numerous because, ways. Because this- we know what Derek's going to do. He's either going to pull up with a jumper, which I don't want to see. Or the floater. Or the floater. Go to the basket and then clog the lane and make him give it up. Well, that's what LeBron did the year they put him up. Oh, out. yeah. Kyrie, he can step back. He can Train, do a runner. Mouth. Can, man, please. And not saying that Derek can't shoot the jumper, but it's not as consistent and it's not as fluid when it, as. When it goes in, it we're looks, like, ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a surprise whenever that bad boy goes down. Because he got one of the herky jerkiest. Ever. Where he just like. Ever. I don't. Yeah. I, yeah. Carrie Carrie is Carrie is probably that dude. Until Derek comes back and we'll see what he does. Because I think. I, I believe they played against each other once. And I think that Derek Rose game just did him wrong. Because yeah. <laughs> you know? think yeah. about it. Because think about it. Whenever Derek Rose played against Chris Paul, it wasn't pretty. No. Chris Paul could not hang with Derek. Nope. And, and, and what, what my boy said. When Derek is healthy, ain't nobody in the league can keep stay in front of him. I can't. Ain't nobody in the league. Well, outside maybe LeBron, but LeBron is a bigger dude. But I no, think Russell can. No point guard can stay with him. I don't think I don't think Russell no, can stay with him. Russell, uh, Russell, Russell. I think Russell can stay in front of him. I think physically, physically and athletic, athletically, Russell is might even be a little bit stronger than Derek. Athletically, I know he's a little bit longer. Than he's Derek. longer and taller. And I, and I think I think he might be a little, just a tad a tad bit. I mean, it, 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 the, the, well, the thing about the thing about Derek that that what makes him so hard to guard is how low he gets. He does. He gets he gets like somebody say. And once again, I'm taking scraping. my love out of the Chicago no, kid. I'm talk, I, we're I talking about this objectively because there are going to be a lot of people that uh, and poo. They're going to start going to the yeah, nickname, which yeah. lets me know that you that's have a boy. personal yeah, connect. That's, that's your, your boy. boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying. I'm saying. If you look at Russell Westbrook and you look at Derek and you look at Kyrie, they're all three similar. But at the end of the day, I will take Kyrie's offensive game over these two guys. Yes, I will. Now, maybe defensively, I might take Russell. I might take Russell. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, all around, I might go Derek. I might go Derek. But if I want buckets, I'm I'm going Kyrie, man. All day. And And the thing about it is... I'm technically, personally, I'm excited to see what Derek got for us when he comes back. Because I really think that when he comes back, it's not going to be one of those we're rushing them back. We, I, they're obviously not rushing them back. I'm excited to see what what they what he got for us because if if he comes in on this Adrian Peterson thing, you know uh, that's what I'm calling it now. Yeah. When you come back and I you, just, I, I just I, I get a little worried. Basketball is totally different from football. No, I understand. Football is one cut, and run up the field. I, no, 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 I understand. I don't understand because movement. because the reason why he had issues and somebody said this, like they were nervous about him when he, he had jumped ten- so hard. But, but when he had uh, the, the the knee tendonitis when he came in as a rookie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, when he bounces, like he bounces so hard, he has to change the way he plays. He literally and, has to change if he wants to last without tearing it. And tearing he doesn't really jump off one foot. He's a two foot hopper that gets up and bangs the ball down. I, I just this I is just, the way he torques his body. He's got to, he's got to, and it's a wonder why I, like guys like D Wade hasn't had a, a knee injury. You I'm know what I'm saying? Too, but yeah. the, but D Wade the and thing, he falls a lot. Well, the thing about D Wade is that he falls. That's the thing. He he's more of a a faller. A faller. He's more <laughs> of a land on bruised hip type guy. 
It wasn't he so hurt, much. He hurt crazy ass parts of his body. <laughs> Middle of side. Yeah, uh, tailbone bruise. Yeah, that, like, that, that, that's damn, him. dog. <laughs> He doesn't. He's not torquing his body like right. Derek is. He's Back not doing of the all knee, that. right? <laughs> Sprained pinky. That, that, that's a that's a Dwayne Wade injury. This is the little the <laughs> forearm connecting to the wrist because you fell the, the, the ligament on. right here. Right. It's swollen. Right. That that that's what's going on right Mari there. Mari Stoudemire does that getting up. All right, <laughs> we're gonna come back with more sports and plug. Don't subscribe. forget subscribe to us on YouTube, man. If you enjoy the show, we want to keep doing it for y'all, man. But that takes fans and. We like kicking it with y'all, man. Remember, follow us on Twitter at Leon Rogers, at Sports Unplugged, at Big Man. All right? When we come back.